not in a mood to do the intro, because Chubby Studios Productions won't stop bullying Lee. Greetings viewers. This is Pucka here. Oh god, not the fake clone of US. Bruh, can you fix that grammar of yours? Because it's poor, although, not everyone is perfect. And these are my friends named Garu, Abayo, and Ching, and we decided to feature Emu Otori the Coco Melon Hater AUTTP in this rant video. Shut, Shut up! And today, we are going to rant out of the sick pedophile named Chubby Studios Productions. Shut the fuck up my fake clone. Oh, and are you going to make him? That's what I thought. But before we begin, you got my voice right, but you still suck my fake clone. If you guys still like this user, or is even neutral to him, then we would hide. Don't you think about bashing our opinion on him? Actually, they are giving out advice, not bashing opinions. There's a difference between giving out advice and bashing opinions. Let's skip this part and move on already. Chubby Studios Productions is one of the worst monsters that we have ever dealed with in this community. <laughs> Me, Puka, Garu, Ching, and Abba will tell you reasons why you shouldn't be friends with him. Shut- You've reached your limit on talking. Shut the fuck up. One. He treats my show like it's a gift from God. Not your business. She stands corrected. You really do treat Pupka like God. Like come on dude. 2. He adds fictional characters in his commentary videos. Bruh. He. Can. Okay. Now nah, shut up. You've reached your limit on talking. Shut the fuck up. Seriously chubby? You cannot do that at all. 3. He cannot handle being commentated on. That's because you keep making a commentary on us when we don't deserve it at all. Well guess what? We can do commentaries on you whatever the hell we want, so deal with it. Like bruh. Just accept the fact that you got commentated by Leah and her friends. Oh, shut up! 4. He has terrible grammar. Yeah right, because I'm using Grammarly for PC. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Like seriously Chubby, how can people hear you speak right? You are an adult. Dude, I'm a teenager, I'm 17 not adult. I don't give a shit! 5. He interrupts people's sentences. Like Shut up! See? That's exactly her point. You kept on doing that crap and we told you to stop, but you never listened to us. 6. He dated Ching just so that a bio can get angry. Like what the frick is wrong with you Chubby Studios Productions? I cannot believe that you tried to cheat on a bio with Ching. Bruh, he did not. I just let him to get girlfriend at this point so how? You're doing this on purpose! And Ching is only 15 years old. True, but you still suck fake clone of Pucker. And you are an adult. Again. Ching is actually a minor. Dude, Ching is a teenager too, so they are both minors. And this proves that you act like Junior Poke. Well he sucks for dating Safiana last year. I don't give a fuck it was the past. Then where's the proof? This is why we are not trusting you anymore. This is why we trusted him. 7. He cannot handle hate or criticism. For what? For making a rant on my haters last February. Yes! This is very stupid ever, see? I just private it. So I can handle hate. That's too late. We already caught you in the act. Handling hate and criticism is just a simple thing to do. Shut the fuck up! Eight. He made Squidward and Princess Ellie cry in her third commentary. Bullshit. I did that to him because it's very rude to SpongeBob in the one of show. What a bunch of bullshit. Like what the freaking hell is wrong with you? Watch your language, young man. Nah! <laughs> Though it's freedom to speech. 9. He claims that I'm his girlfriend, when I am actually not. And I already have a boyfriend, for now. I'm his ex-boyfriend for now on. That still doesn't excuse anything. Why don't you just go and get a real girlfriend you sick freak? Dude, that's fucking too hard. I don't give a shit! 10. He brought up Leah's past. Good bitch. No, that's not good at all. That makes you prove you support cancel culture. You tell her, Chubby. Do you want having kiss so can make you feel better? You know what? Yes, it's going to be amazing. 
Oh boy, let awesome begins. What the f Like seriously dude? First Foxy, then Bear. You've reached your limit on talking. Shut the fuck up. 11. He sends a lot of death threats to people. Shut up before I will kill you with a knife and it will be death. See? That's exactly her point. You kept on doing that crap and we told you to stop, but you never listened to us. Stop right there. I know what you are doing. You are trying to send someone a death threat. You should realize that's very heartless and cruel, and you can go to jail for that. Let's skip this part and move on. When death threats actually win. Hey. Stop right there you villain. This is Shining Glitter Cookie speaking. Are you trying to edit someone's sentence? Bro, you should realize that doing that stuff isn't good at all, and they are telling the truth about you. Let's skip this part and move on. 11. He treats Leah like she is worse than- ah! 12. He caused Fox Dream Studios' life in jeopardy, causing him to almost commit suicide. Like what on earth is wrong with you? How could you ever do this to Fox Dream Studios? You almost made him commit suicide, and this proves that you're a monster. Could you asshole kind? He fucking deserve it. Why on earth would you do something like that in the first place? Do you want me to give you a knuckle sandwich for making someone suicidal? 13. He calls people the n-word and the f-a-word. Shut up you f fake clone of Chang. See? That's exactly her point. You kept on doing that crap and we told you to stop, but you never listened to us. And plus, I'm glad you censored the N-word and the F-slur word, but you're still racist. Like bruh. Only gay people can say sh- You've reached your limit on talking. Shut the fuck up. 14. He claims that Flair and Merlad brought up his past, yet he brought up Leah's past. And we're not using the hypocrite term in the wrong context. <laughs> 15. He made Leah suicidal, causing her to cry into tears, and also made her pull out the middle finger. Like you have got to be freaking kidding me. Making Leah feel upset and cry in Unforgivable. And this proves that you act like Foxy the Fox 110 and Beast Monster 2K9. Cut that out right now. Leah's suicide is a good thing. It makes like on internet. Hey! Are you freaking serious right now? Lee doesn't deserve to feel suicidal, because she is a good person and doesn't like annoying people like you, and you're saying it's a good thing that she is feeling that way? Not cool man, not cool. 16 and finally, the very worst part, is that he got Leah terminated from YouTube causing her to be more upset. Oh, shut up! Oh. My. Freaking. God. Chubby Studios Productions. Words cannot describe All of you just shut up. I don't you. giving a fuck. Now that. Don't let your kids watch it. Hey, Outro. I think you dropped something. Take it and leave.